Operation on integers. Addition of integers is the process of finding the sum of two or more integers. It may result in an increase or decrease in value depending on whether the integers are positive or negative or a mixture. Let's start with adding integers with same signs. Example 1. Positive 8 plus positive 5 equals n. The absolute value of positive 8 is 8, and the absolute value of positive 5 is 5. Adding the absolute values of 8 and 5 will give you 13. Then affix the common sign to the sum, which is the positive sign. So positive 8 plus positive 5 equals positive 13 or simply 13. Example 2. Negative 6 plus negative 12 equals n. The absolute value of negative 6 is 6. And the absolute value of negative 12 is 12. Adding the absolute values of 6 plus 12 is 18. Then affix the common sign to the sum, which is the negative sign. So negative 6 plus negative 12 equals negative 18. When adding integers with same signs, add the absolute values of the integers and affix the common sign to the sum. Adding integers with different signs. Example 1. Negative 9 plus positive 7 equals n. If integer that you are adding have different signs, subtract the smaller absolute value from larger absolute value. So 9 for negative 9 minus 7 for positive 7 is 2. Then affix the sign of the greater number to the sum. The greater number is 9 with a negative sign. So negative 9 plus positive 7 equals negative 2. Example 2. Negative 5 plus positive 12 equals n. Subtract the smaller absolute value from larger absolute value. So 12 for positive 12 minus 5 for negative 5 is 7. Then affix the sign of the greater number to the sum. The greater number here is 12 with positive sign. So negative 5 plus positive 12 equals positive 7. When adding integers with different signs, subtract the absolute values of the integers, larger minus smaller. Affix the sign of the greater number to the sum. Activity 1. Add the integers. 1. Positive 8 plus positive 7 equals blank. The answer is positive 15. Number 2. Negative 6 plus negative 5 equals blank. The answer is negative 11. Number 3. Positive 5 plus negative 8 equals blank. The answer is negative 3. Number 4. Negative 10 plus positive 3 equals blank. The answer is negative 7. Number 5. Positive 9 plus negative 8 equals blank. The answer is positive 1. Subtraction of integers can be very easy once you know how to add integers. The key step is to transform an integer subtraction problem into an integer addition problem. Let's take a look at subtracting integers with same and different signs. Example 1. Positive 8 minus positive 5 equals n. 
First step is to keep the minuend and get the opposite sign of the subtrahend. So we have positive 8 and negative 5. Then transform the subtraction of integers to addition of integers. So that would be positive 8 plus negative 5 equals n. Finally, proceed with the regular addition of integers. So adding positive 8 plus negative 5 equals positive 3. Example 2, negative 9 minus negative 3 equals n. First step is to keep the minuend and get the opposite sign of the subtrahend. So we have negative 9 and positive 3. Then transform subtraction of integers to addition of integers. Negative 9 plus positive 3 equals n. Finally, proceed with the regular addition of integers. Adding negative 9 plus positive 3 equals negative 6. Example 3. Negative 7 minus positive 4 equals n. Keep the minuend and get the opposite of the subtrahend. So we have negative 7 for the minuend and negative 4 for the subtrahend equals n. Then transform subtraction to addition of integers. Negative 7 plus negative 4 equals n. Finally, proceed with the regular addition of integers. So negative 7 plus negative 4 equals negative 11. When subtracting integers with same and different signs, keep the minuend and get the opposite sign of the subtrahend. Transform the subtraction of integers to addition of integers. Proceed with the regular addition of integers. Activity 2. Subtract the integers. Number 1. Positive 10 minus positive 6 equals blank. The answer is positive 4. Number 2. Negative 8 minus negative 2 equals blank. The answer is negative 6. Number 3. Positive 7 minus negative 6 equals blank. The answer is positive 13. Number 4. Negative 12 minus positive 5 equals blank. The answer is negative 17. Number 5. Positive 15 minus negative 8 equals blank. The answer is positive 23. Multiplication of integers is just as what you do with whole numbers, except you must track of the signs. Let's begin with multiplying integers with same signs. Example 1. Positive 6 times positive 4 equals n. Just multiply the absolute values of the integers. So 6 for positive 6 times 4 for positive 4 is 24. Then affix the positive sign in the product. So positive 6 times positive 4 equals positive 24. Example 2. Negative 3 times negative 5 equals n. Multiply the absolute values of integers. So 3 for negative 3 times 5 for negative 5 is 15. Then affix the positive sign in the product. So negative 3 times negative 5 equals positive 15. When multiplying integers with same signs, multiply the absolute values of integers. Affix the positive sign in the product. Multiplying integers with different signs. Example 1. Positive 7 times negative 3 equals n. Just multiply the absolute values of integers. So 7 for positive 7 
times 3 for negative 3 is 21. Then affix the negative sign in the product. So positive 7 times negative 3 equals negative 21. Example 2. Negative 5 times positive 4 equals n. Multiply the absolute values of integers. So 5 for negative 5 times 4 for negative 4 equals 20. Then affix the negative sign in the product. So negative 5 times positive 4 equals negative 20. When multiplying integers with different signs, Multiply the absolute values of integers. Affix the negative sign in product. Activity 3. Multiply the integers. Number 1. Positive 6 times positive 4 equals blank. The answer is positive 24. Number 2. Negative 8 times negative 5 equals blank. The answer is positive 40. Number 3, positive 5 times negative 5 equals blank. The answer is negative 25. Number 4, negative 9 times positive 3 equals blank. The answer is negative 27. Number 5, positive 12 times negative 2 equals blank. The answer is negative 24. Division of integers is just like division of whole numbers, except you must pay attention of the signs when you do it. Let's start with dividing integers with same signs. Example 1. Positive 12 divided by positive 4 equals n. Just divide the absolute values of integers. So 12 for positive 12 divided by 4 for positive 4 equals 3. Then affix the positive sign in quotient. So positive 12 divided by positive 4 equals positive 3. Example 2. Negative 18 divided by negative 3 equals n. Divide the absolute values of integers. So 18 for negative 18 divided by 3 for negative 3 is 6. Then affix the positive sign in quotient. So negative 18 divided by negative 3 equals positive 6. When dividing integers with same signs, divide the absolute values of integers. Affix the positive sign in quotient. Dividing integers with different signs. Example 1. Positive 20 divided by negative 5 equals n. Just divide the absolute values of integers. So 20 for positive 20 divided by 5 for negative 5 equals 4. Then affix the negative sign in quotient. So positive 20 divided by negative 5 equals negative 4. Example 2. Negative 18 divided by positive 6 equals n. Divide the absolute values of integers. So 18 for negative 18 divided by 6 for positive 6 is 3. Then affix the negative sign in quotient. So negative 18 divided by positive 6 equals negative 3. When dividing integers with different signs, divide the absolute values of integers. Affix the negative sign in quotient. Activity 4. Divide the integers. Number 1. Positive 21 divided by positive 7 equals blank. The answer is positive 3. Number 2. Negative 16 divided by negative 2 equals blank. The answer is positive 8. Number 3. 
positive 15 divided by negative 5 equals blank? The answer is negative 3. Number 4. Negative 18 divided by positive 9 equals blank. The answer is negative 2. Number 5. Positive 12 divided by negative 3 equals blank. The answer is negative 4.